Hi, I'm Rodney with Rodney's Real Outdoors Sport Fishing Charters here in uh, the Okanagan, Kelowna. And uh, today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about um, some kokanee fishing that we have in our area and some of the uh, terminal tackle that we typically use uh, when I'm out guiding uh, that works for me. Uh, I pro staff for Gibbs Delta Tackle and uh, they make some really good product that uh, help me uh, put fish in the boat for my customers. So uh, some of the stuff that uh, we use today when we were out is uh, a lot of times I like to use uh, um, small spoons as dodgers uh, to impact action on, uh, on for instance, the Yamashita uh, hoochies. So today we were using a uh, FST uh, spoon. I took the uh, hook off the end of it, put a swivel on it, and then uh, about a 12 inch leader, and then hooked up a uh, really nice uh, hot pink hoochie. The best colors that I like are the, are the pinks, uh, the chartreuses, uh, sometimes white or pearl, but basically uh, the, you can't go wrong with pink or chartreuse. This is another FST, just a different color. Pretty much the same arrangement that we just uh, talked about. This is a uh, Gibbs Gator Spoon. Um, imparts a little bit different action, um, a little bit slower action than what the FST does. Uh, and sometimes, like this morning actually, um, they, they really keyed in on this action earlier in the day and then they went off of this and actually went on to the the action the FST so you can't um, it's always good to try different things when you're out fishing and on this one uh, we were actually losing a few fish they were biting light so we put on a snubber and uh, that just helps uh, to bring the the fish in uh, kokanee have a soft mouth and uh, that will basically um, help from pulling that uh, hook out of their mouth and usually are a little bit more successful in landing fish then uh, on the downriggers uh, we used um, a few different of uh, the wedding bands. Uh, this wedding band uh, actually probably caught uh, quite a few fish for us today, four or five fish. The, uh, we also were using a chartreuse wedding band that actually worked good towards the end of the day when we had a little bit more light on the water. And um, I typically run these um, just above my downrigger ball and on the downrigger ball, I like to run a set of uh, either a willow leaf troll or a um, um, a set of larger flashers like the Ford Fender Troll and I attach that directly to the ball and what that uh, typically does is it takes all that weight off of uh, your rod so you can use a lighter rod, enjoy the fish more and um, also you tend to land more fish because you haven't got all that gear that the fish is fighting it's, it's just more freer so uh, and it works just as good so um, but making sure you have those on the ball really really helps to, to bring those fish in those schools of kokanee um, to see your offering. We tipped these with, uh, today we were using uh, um, shrimp that I had dyed with Procure and we were also using some um, imitation maggots that worked well for us. Alright, for uh, any more uh, questions on this or anything you can always contact me. I'm Rodney at Rodney's Real Outdoors and my website is KelownaFishing.com here in Kelowna.